morning everybody the light is still purple it's another blizzard today another one it's Friday today February what does this say February 18th 2022 when I'm filming this the temperature outside is blizzard it's coming it's starting to snow now but apparently it's coming throughout the day so I've got to get going uh, my appointment today got bumped up to a bit earlier I got to go up to Toulon again grab some freight bring it back here Hopefully we can get all that done before the uh, the wind starts. Because it's snowing right now, it's when the wind starts that we start getting problems. It's minus 18 Celsius right now. The wind is supposed to start at 11 a.m. I'm just gonna check here to see what kind of wind we're talking about. Like, it's different kinds of wind, you know. At 11 a.m., show me what's going on. Oh, there's a blizzard warning. Okay, let's just read the blizzard warning. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> Blizzard warning is in effect. Description. Blizzard developing early Friday morning and ending Friday afternoon. Conditions will deteriorate to blizzard early Friday morning. That's what you just said. As strong northwesterly winds gusting as high as 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles an hour, develop in the wake of the system. The onset of these winds will be abrupt beginning in the pre-dawn hours in the southwest shortly thereafter for the Red River Valleys. Widespread, very poor visibilities and blowing snow are expected for the remainder of the morning into the afternoon. Whiteout conditions are possible at all times. Winds will gradually diminish through the afternoon with significant improvement for most communities by evening. Areas near the international border with the U.S. continue to be see blowing snow and poor visibilities persist for a few more hours into the evening. Wind across southern Manitoba will diminish to light by midnight well goody goody gumdrops okay i'm gonna get that truck started let's get going we gotta beat this system all right here we go unplug this Leave it that over there okay it's always snowing it's always snowing always snowing okay let's uh put that right there Out, the snow's gonna go flying off of it. Whew, there we go. I'm quickly do some work under here, check the oil and stuff. Ah, we gotta get going. Oh, this is gonna be a snowy day. Should have brought my boots, my big winter boots. She's been a bit stubborn with me this morning. Doesn't want to get going. winter time it's just always something every day so uh, get the battery charger get these batteries charged up a little bit more get a little bit of extra boost and hopefully uh, if we can get this engine turning faster we can get her fired up it's just not quite enough to get her to fire right now <sighs> all right I went and got the battery booster jacket back on here I don't wear my jacket in my in my pickup because it's dirty okay I went and got this from the shop okay come with me Batteries are in here, I believe. Come on. Come on. You have to let go with her, bud. Oh, of course, everything's frozen on now, too, right? It's supposed to just lift out. Come on. You know, it's always something. One thing after another, after another. 
One sec, gotta zip up my jacket. It's one of these days, you know? It's one of those days, like every other day. Would this work? I could probably go around and get my crowbar if this won't work. Yeah, that won't work. We'll get my crowbar. This is what we deal with every day here. It's wonderful, isn't it? First thing in the morning. Come on, come on. This is the, the fix-it tool of choice for most things here. I know there's probably snowflakes landing on the lens. Sorry, I hope it's not obstructing your view there too much. Jeez. Frozen. off of there. There we go. There, I think it's free now. There we go. Oh, oh. Well, that could be why. It's not supposed to be like that. Oh, man. Really? Really? Yikes. I don't want to mess around that too much. That is not supposed to be like that. Well, they're not short out, otherwise they'd be sparking all over the place, right? Okay. Oh, someone rolled these up the long and hard way, of course. There's people that always, there's always those people that do everything, you know, they go the extra step to make it just that much more difficult for the next person. <laughs> okay, where do we want this to be at? Let's just, that one there and uh, this one in here. Okay, this isn't plugged in yet. Can we plug this in? What a mess. Look this thing. What now? There you go. Unreal. So while the truck was warming up, someone had bumped the, the cord so it wasn't fully plugged in, so my truck wasn't plugged in overnight, that's why I didn't want to start. So while that's being fixed and uh, getting warmed up, I came to fill up my pickup because we're supposed to get a blizzard and I wanted a full tank of gas. I was just below it empty, I was about an eighth of a tank. 83 and a half liters. $126, that is one week of going to work. In March, last year, just about a year ago, it was $85 a week to go to work. Now it's $126 every week. $86, let's say $86, $96, $106, $116, dollars $40 more every week. $160 a month extra. That's how much the gas has shot up in less than one year. Man, that hurts. That is quite the spanking. In one year. And the price of fuel here right now is $1.59.9, so $1.51. I hate it that they do that, that 0 0.9. 0 0.9 of a cent. Why don't you just be honest and say it's $1.51? Like, what is $1.50.9? Trying to trick me, you're not tricking me. 
ridiculous. And I know, I know, everyone in Europe and Australia, I can't really complain because you guys got way more expensive fuel than us. But hey, you guys should be like more upset than I am. And if you think this will be a uh, means to justify me selling my pickup truck, <laughs> you're wrong, I'm gonna buy a bigger one. One day. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I'm in manual, there you go. Let's put that in. Come on, shift down for me, girl. There you go, what's that all about? I know, I'm not happy about it either. I wish I understood more of, of how fuel prices worked and why they go up and why is every single gas station the exact same price? That is a conspiracy. Are they all colluding? Cause you know, they're supposed to be separate companies, right? So if I had a company and my competitor had a company across the street, I would do everything in my power to keep my prices lower than theirs. You know, and then they would be like, oh no, all my customers are going to Josh's gas station. And then they would try to lower their prices lower than mine. And then all my customers would go there and be like, oh no, I want my customers back. And I'd have to lower my prices again. Right? Competition. Why are they all exactly the same price? How does that work? What do they like have a board meeting every morning? Like all the big all the big gas owners, gas station owners of the province be like, all right, today we're going with a dollar fifty. It's gonna be a dollar fifty one, but we're gonna put a dollar fifty point nine on our signs just so that people think they're getting a deal. I see through you guys. I see what you're doing there. It's just robbery. I wonder if it's illegal to have a different price than your competitor when it comes to gas. Like, is there some kind of regulation that makes them all cooperate? Is it all just one big owner? If it is, who's the owner? Yeah, he must be doing pretty well. Wish I was the owner. Can you imagine having the monopoly on gas in the province? You know what? My bank account's getting a little dry. I only have a couple billion in there now. Let's raise the prices up by 10 cents. That should replenish my, my, my total to about 10 billion. I'm down below five right now and I need at least 10 billion for myself to feel comfortable. If I don't have 10 billion in my bank account, I'm living like a poor man on the streets practically. Let's raise the gas prices and pad my pockets a little bit, just for an extra bit of insurance money. You know what, speaking of insurance money, you know what, let's raise the price by 50 cents. That way I can have 20 billion in my account instead of 10. That'll give me an extra safety net in case something goes wrong. That's my rant for today. <laughs> That's my rant. I know you all agree with me. Don't, don't look at me right now and tell me you don't agree with me. Don't lie to me. We're all wondering what's going on. All right, guys, cross your fingers. We're gonna go and give it a shot, see if she'll start. I've had the block heater plugged in now and the charger going there. Let's see what happens. Come on, girl. I believe in you. You can do it. Good thing it's not that cold out. You guys ready? Moment of truth. No, I don't think she's gonna go. I don't think she's gonna go. Today was not a good day. Not a good day at all. I struggled with that truck all day. All day, and guess what? They put me in a different truck. And at the end of the day, this is a different day already, I'm just finishing this up to explain the story to you. I was so frustrated when I went home, I didn't even finish the vlog. <laughs> See, Trucker Josh does not always have good days, but uh, we try to make as many of them good as possible. But uh, I struggled with that truck all day. 
all day. And then they put me in this truck for the afternoon. And then at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go give my truck one more shot. One more shot. See if it'll start. Got into it. First thing. Started right up at the end of the day. No problems. So I don't know. I told the shop about it. And the truck is due for a safety anyway. So I'm parking it there until they can take a look at it. And they need to safety it. There's a big exhaust leak that needs to be fixed. It's too bad because it makes the truck sound really mean. It's going to be a little bit quieter now again. Because it's got to pass the safety. And... Uh, how to fix that up and a few other things and so i'm in this truck right now 3079 until they can get that done but the shop is swamped right now uh, with this cold weather rolling through the province here it's hard for them to keep the trucks running properly on the road because you know what if anything's going to break it's going to break in the coldest part of winter the cold just doesn't mix with machinery that well so they're pretty busy but anyways that was the vlog for today uh it wasn't the batteries the problem was that the plug had gotten bumped for the block heater and it disconnected at the plug. Someone, I guess, had pulled it or bumped it and it wasn't quite connecting. It was plugged in, but it wasn't connecting. So uh, the block heater wasn't on all night. And that's what happens when you don't plug in your truck overnight in wintertime. I was lucky that I even got it to turn over, I guess, but I plugged it in throughout the day and that's why it started up just fine at the end of the day because it had all day to warm up and... Uh, get things moving anyway that was my adventure thanks for watching today everybody tomorrow's another day we got some really exciting things coming down the pike in the next uh, few weeks and a few months i'm really looking forward to summertime i think you might be too